What's up everyone? I was lucky enough to be sent this super electric racing car by Caught Up Bricks, and today we're going to be building it. So let's get into it. Alright, so before we open it up more, let's take a look at the box. So on the side first, we can see it there, and we can see the sizing. So it's 58 centimeters by 12.8 centimeters, and I've been told that that is 1 to 8 scale of a real car. So that's, that's a good size. And then let's also take a look at the back. So we can see all the different angles of the car, and I'll show you guys close up in a second. But look at the bottom. It can also be motorized. You can like actually drive the car. Like that's so cool. And also the rear end like flips up, and it's just so cool. So here, take a look. All right. So if we're gonna look up here first, so basically the first picture is basically like what the engine looks like, and I think that looks really clean. It looks really good. And then we have an over like bird bird's eye view shot right here and i love the contour right there the car the floor looks so clean i'm really excited to build this and then also like i don't know how to explain this is the suspension sorry those suspension arms look really good and really clean and yeah overall this just looks like a really fun build i can't wait to get into it all right guys so that's all we got in the bag so let's take a look so we got the sticker sheet and the book panther thing and we got a whole lot of bags. We got some tires and I don't know what this is so we're gonna have to take a look in a second. We got the rim, the tires, let's get to building. All right, so I just finished the first round of bags and let's see how it looks. So basically it doesn't look like much but you can see right here the rear suspension arms and where the wheels will go. But basically if you see in there, there's a little engine and it turns basically, and that'll turn the wheels, as you can see. So up here, this is where the front of the car will connect. And back here is basically like the rain light. And that's really all you can tell so far. There's a lot of stuff going on without much like noticeable details, but so far that's what we got. On to bag two. All right. So here it is after the second round of bags, round or bag B, right? So we got a bunch of the like shelling and casing of the actual livery of the car on. And we also put on the whole front end and the front axles. And look at this, there's a steering wheel and it turns the wheels. So that's very cool in my opinion. Look how well the suspension is done on the car. It's just so intricate and well done. Like I really, it's just a really good build overall so next we're gonna go into the third bag and we'll see what happens next all right guys we're now done two bags we got two more to go so let's get into bag number three all right there we go guys that's bag three already done we only have one more bag to go in bag four obviously and then we have a bunch of stickers to add and then we're done so let's get into bag four time for the final set of bags let's do it and after multiple days of building here is the final result of our electric super racing car by kata bricks Actually, I'm really happy with this, and I hope you guys can too, as I'm going to add the link to this car top of the description. So go open the description and click the link to get one for yourself. It's actually a really, really cool build. So it has a functional steering wheel, which turns the front wheels, obviously, as the steering wheel would work. And um, it has like suspension as well, so if you push the car down, it'll react. The suspension arms also look really cool and really add to it. So as I've been building this, there's been a lot of springs that really help with this suspension and it just adds more realism to the car. So then there's also a working engine inside and it helps obviously turn the wheels and make everything more realistic. Going to the back now, we have a full on diffuser and this diffuser is massive. It looks so cool as well. The stickers really help add just like a pop to the car as well. And overall, I'm just really happy with the design. I think it looks really, really good. I think they did a great job with it. So there's also an addition you could add on to this and where basically you make it motorized and turn into an RC car. And I think I'm actually gonna be doing that in a few weeks time. So make sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on so you don't miss that video. And without further ado, I think that's really all we got. So I'll see you in the next one.